Hello everyone. Today we will watch a short retelling of the film Judgment Night. After the United States experienced an economic collapse, the American government created such a phenomenon as Doomsday. Once a year, from 7 o'clock in the evening of the 21st of March to 7 o'clock in the morning of the next day, criminal activity, including murder, becomes legal, and all security and medical services stop working. By the 2022nd year, the United States of America is thriving with unemployment and crime rates at record lows. However, some experts believe that the low rates are due to the fact that on the doomsday night, those who are unable to afford the protection available only to the rich are destroyed. James is an agent for the sale of such security systems. His family is his wife Mary and their children, Charlie and Zoe. Thanks to his profession, they live richly and do not participate in the judgment night, because they are satisfied with their lives. The family has already experienced seven such nights. In the evening, before the doomsday, Zoe regretfully says goodbye to her boyfriend Henry, who has to leave her house, secretly through the window. Her father does not allow them to meet, since Henry is older than her. Mary meets a friendly neighbor Grace, who treats her neighbors to cookies. Grace tells Mary that there are rumors that their family's wealth is made from their neighbors, they all bought a protection system from them, including Grace. Mary refutes all this because James gets a lot of money because, as a sales agent, he has become a leader. Some time after the doomsday night begins, Charlie notices a dark-skinned man running into their street and begging to save him. Charlie, after some hesitation, lets him in, although his parents are extremely unhappy about this. The identity of the stranger, as well as the reason why they want to kill him, are unknown. At this time, Zoya discovers Henry hiding in her room, who decided to stay to have a serious talk with her father. He comes out into the hall at the moment when James is holding a stranger at gunpoint. Suddenly, Henry takes aim at Zoe's father, shoots and misses. But James manages to shoot Henry, who crawls into Zoe's room and later dies. At the same time, Zoe and a stranger run around the house. Mary and Charlie lock themselves in the control room, and James goes to look for his daughter and a stranger. A few minutes later, a group of local students in grinning masks comes to their house, and their leader informs them that they are the ones who kill various scum of society on the Night of Judgment. He gives the family an ultimatum, either they will give them a stranger, or in an hour, they will enter their house themselves. The couple go to look for a stranger. Charlie, looking at the company walking around in front of their house in anticipation, feels that he cannot follow his parents' lead. With the help of his homemade tracking robot, he helps a stranger find a way to hide in the closet of his room. However, Zoe also decided to hide in the same closet and a stranger takes her hostage. A scuffle ensues between the stranger and James. James manages not to fatally wound the stranger with a shot. Together with his wife, they tie up the fugitive with duct tape. The mayor's office children are very depressed by the current circumstance. Charlie and Mary run away, and James tries to calm Zoe down, saying that they will be fine in the morning. But Zoe, pointing to his treatment of a stranger, said that it would never be as good as before. She also runs away, and the stranger who was watching all this asks James to hand him over to the people outside so as not to endanger the children. But something breaks in James, and he decides to fight back against the looters. When the deadline expires, people outside demolish the protective panels, tearing them off with chains attached to the equipment. Armed, the couple manages to shoot almost all the looters, but the leader fatally wounds James with a large knife. He then takes aim at Mary and Charlie, but is killed by Zoe. The looters left outside are killed by neighbors who suddenly appeared, led by Grace. 
However, the joy of the family is premature, the neighbors have come to take revenge on them for making their money on them. At the most crucial moment, a stranger appears freed from the tape, who kills one of the neighbors, then captures Grace and demands to leave the family alone. When Grace and the others are in his sights, Grace asks to kill them. But Mary says there are no more murders in her house. And whether the neighbors want it or not, they will spend the rest of the time in peace and tranquility. Everyone spends the rest of Doomsday Night in the dining room, where Mary looks bitterly at those whom she considered her friends. When there is very little left until seven in the morning, Grace tries to take the shotgun from Mary, but she hits her in the nose with the butt. When the doomsday end signal sounds, Grace is bleeding and the neighbors leave the house. Mary thanks the stranger, and he leaves. Mary herself and her children go out to the front door, behind which the sounds of sirens can be heard. That's how this movie ends. Thank you for watching, if you liked the retelling, put likes and subscribe, soon there will be many videos on the channel. See you later.